Y bueno gente, bienvenidos a un nuevo video más de la campaña de The Walking Dead temporada 2 Y el día de hoy vamos a estar iniciando con el episodio número 4, Entre las Ruinas Este, solo les quiero avisar, este, vengo de grabar Este, hasta el capítulo 19 o 20 de, de Bloodstain Y ya, básicamente ya estoy a punto de terminar esa campaña Así que, yo creo que esa campaña estará terminando más o menos Esta campaña de The Walking Dead si continuamos al ritmo que vamos de dos capítulos por episodio, pues acabaríamos primero esta campaña y posteriormente terminaríamos con Bloodstain en, dentro de los próximos días, ¿vale gente? Así que pues sin nada más, pues vamos a empezar el episodio número 4 entre las ruinas, después de haber escapado de donde nos tenían prisioneros, que lo que parecía un centro comercial, y recordemos que matamos a Bill, bueno, lo mató Kenny, y que este la niña Sara, este, la hija de Carlos, bueno, Carlos murió. Y Sara salió corriendo, no sabemos dónde, dónde vaya a estar. Y por último, la novia de Kenny, Sarita, creo se llamaba. Este, le cortamos el brazo. Debido a que pues la mordió un zombie y era la única forma de mantenerla con vida. Si es que sale viva de, de donde nos habíamos en, nos encontramos el capítulo de ayer, que estábamos escapando de la horda zombie. Y quién sabe si le grito que haya dado, pues haya hecho que la hayan mordido, la hayan matado en ese momento. Así que pues si nada más que ser gente, pues vamos a comenzar este capítulo 4. Episodio 4, perdón. Tal vez no, pero era la única forma de salir con vida de... Bueno, ahorita. I know. What do we do? Rope was with me, but I, I 
can't do this alone. We can't stay here, Rebecca. We need to keep moving. Look! The walkers are still moving toward the hardware store. We can make it out if we stick to... Oh. I'm glad you're here. We can watch each other's back. I'll stick with you. Thank you. We can clear back to the trees. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? Hey, keep that. We've got to hurry. No, pues ya fue. Me van a matar. Es que necesitamos que te calmes. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's so many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just we need. Okay. Just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Fall behind, I can't come back for you. No importa que pase, tú sigue viendo para enfrente. Bueno, pues aquí ya perdimos a dos. Perdimos a Alvin y perdimos a Sarita. Obviamente Kenny va a estar súper enojado con nosotros. Pues, pero es que ya no había otra manera. O sea, para mí no la había. We can stop for a moment, if you need to. No, no. I, I can rest when we're with the others. I can't rest now. Can't just stop. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus, I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. Don't worry, we're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can.
I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? And? Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were- She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right- Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long, we were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny, he flipped out on me. Started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. It was scary. I've been nervous to even on Nero. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. He's just... He's not thinking straight. Somebody's gotta do something. We can't just keep sitting here forever. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you thought was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. Narita, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. What the kiss about a mess? You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. We need your help to figure out a Grow plan. The fuck up and look around. 
Don't you want the time? Take a look at how our last plan worked out. There ain't some boat, or some train, or some other bullshit out of this one. Don't you think you've already done enough for today? I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works! Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you tried. Still. Doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Ken would have a plan. Mike, honey. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. This was the meeting place. We should stay here and try to make it safe. Clementine's right. If we leave here, they'll never find us. Okay, fine. In the meantime, I'll take Clem and we can go look that way. See if we find him. Clem took good care of herself back at Carver's. I want her watching my back. If they're alive, they can't be far. We can find them. One way. Vean su dedo. ¿Cómo se hizo bien feo? Listen, Rebecca. If anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to? I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Les digo, no me acuerdo si en mi primera vuelta este, llegué, ma, le corté de brazo a Sarita o no. A lo mejor si lo hubiera dejado, no le hubiera cortado de brazo, no hubiera gritado, hubiera matado al zombie, nos hubiéramos ido ahí con ella y después le hubiéramos cortado el brazo. No sé. Eso, como pudo haber pasado, como podría haber pasado eso, como la mataban de igual manera, o sea. Look, I'm a level with you. I was just looking for an excuse to get out of there for a bit. And you should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other. Turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're going to get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. Worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. 
Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters, just friends. <clears throat> All right, jackpot. Otra comunidad. Some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. A ver, déjame revisar. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? Quítate que no veo. You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my hair cut like this. Dos balas. Hold on to him. I'm almost getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses, two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. That's it. A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. It jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. Ese ya se ve muy viejo, ¿no? Can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Los lentes de Sara. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. My cuerpo. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, Clem. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. 
Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh, this is Nick. See, our forces. It's Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. No manches. Las para afuera. It's all right. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Very effective. We can do this. Se oye que alguien está dentro con Sara. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Nice little addition to your arsenal. En la rodilla y para abajo, a fuerzas. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's done. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Paying attention. Let's go. Sarah, what the hell? Vamos. Primero la rodilla, después la cabeza. You did anything? Nice trick, huh? Son demasiados. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. El ruido, más que nada. If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lower those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. La camioneta que está atrás de nosotros funcionará el claxon. Deja de gritar, ching. Damn it, don't do this. That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. A ver, vámonos de aquí, hay que buscar algo. A ver. Vamos a ver. 
If we don't get those walkers to move, we're not getting very far. Ok, entonces lo de la tele. O oh, el cuerpo, el cuerpo. Podemos usar su cuerpo para que mantenga. Exacto, bien pensado. Lo malo es que no solo va a traer a estos, va a traer a los que estén al, alrededor. Aguas atrás. A chinga. We gotta move it. O dejó de sonar o alguien lo movió. Then try something else. Please. You're gonna need to use more force than that. Put some muscle into it. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Bien. Help me block this. Hurry. Vamos, vamos. Sir, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I I saw him outside. Look, he was out there. But we took care of him, you know. Fuck. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I, I got Sarah here, and I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. La la mordieron. See, it's just like I told you, that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We, we have to go now. Come on. We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't, we can't, we can't stay here. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? <sighs> we gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I uh Haz lo que tengas que hacer, yo me encargo de ella. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up or, or we gotta I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. <laughs> Some people, you just can't help, okay? I've seen it before. No! <laughs> oh, shit. Está en shock completamente. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, mierda, cierra las ventas. Cierra la cortina. What about the skylight? All we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. Jane and me came here from the meetup spot. Rebecca's there and Kenny and everybody wanted to make sure you were okay. They all miss you and, and want to see you. We're going to go back there and be with them, okay? I can't. Get to the skylight now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold. El librero. Clem, see what you can find. The fridge. Forget it. The thing ain't. Pensé que era otra cosa, no el refri. Can we use this? It's not big enough. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three. Vamos rápido, rápido. Rápido. Ah, maldito dedo. No me rindes, no me rindes para esto. Okay, go, go. Keep pushing, go. Chale, chale. vamos, vamos. Ah, rápido, rápido, rápido. La puerta. Luke, you first. We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? Now, Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. Look, I know what you're trying to do. But it's not going to work. I can't, I can't, I can't! Daddy! Snap out of it, Sarah! Please! You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me. I know. Un cachetado en paqui. Salga del. Eh, ándale, abofeteala. Órale. Clementine! Grab her! No me importa si me oye aquí, tiene que reaccionar. en situaciones de vida o muerte ok como que pasó algo con el audio se quedó un poco el audio de los zombies golpeando la casa Please, Sarah, you've got to start trying, or you're not going to be okay. People won't want to help you if you aren't trying. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I don't know about this. The way she is... She's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. 
I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. No, pero al menos vivieron día más. But she gave up. I just, I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the road. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Did she get turned? Do you know? When she didn't follow me over, I didn't have the guts to go back and see for myself. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. I hope I did the right thing. I think you did. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Digo, obviamente todavía sigue en shock la Sarah. O sea, no es exactamente no es como que va a reaccionar de un momento a otro. Por eso el cachetadón es lo más efectivo que, que le pudimos aplicar para que salía de ese trance en el que se encontraba en ese momento. Son of a bitch. You found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk? I mean... Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? Kenny had a family. He could help. The problem is que también él ya anda. Aparte de que nos odia porque nos culpa de la muerte de este de Sarita. He pues went no anda muy bien. Left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. <sighs> Esto va a ser difícil, si de por sí ya nos odia. ¿Cómo? Uh, no, no puedo ir a ningún otro lado. ¿Es ahí o es ahí?
We need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. It feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me. All the time. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Maybe one of the others can look at it for you. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? What are okay. going on? Se le rompió la fuente. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh Christ. We should I don't know what we should do. Oh fuck. And that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? Oh God. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? Déjale estar. Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. She volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Y bueno, gente, pues vamos a aprovechar este esta parte que ya nos están prácticamente diciendo que vamos a separarnos de nuevo en grupos para dejar el capítulo de hoy hasta aquí. Este, ya mañana pues continuaremos con esta parte de buscar un lugar seguro para que pueda nacer, nacer el bebé de esta chava que se llama, eh, Rebeca creo se llama eh, para buscarle un lugar mínimo en el que pueda nacer el bebé y no atraiga tantos walkers y a ver si encontramos recursos 
pero pues eso ya lo estaremos viendo el día de mañana, ¿vale gente? Así que pues bueno, vamos a dejar el capítulo de hoy hasta aquí. Este, pues si nada más que decir gente, pues espero que les haya gustado el capítulo del día de hoy. Ya saben que si les gustó, denme like, compártanlo con sus amigos. Si no se han suscrito al canal, suscríbanse y activen la campanita de notificaciones para que cada vez que suba un nuevo video les llegue a sus dispositivos. Así que si nada más que decir gente, yo los veré el día de mañana con otro capítulo más de la campaña de Walking Dead. Así que bueno gente, nos vemos.